Oh, sweet. And then mm -hmm. get up here so we can actually uh, hear him. Silencio, for favor. Sorry. We're uh, trying to figure out our audio. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, sorry, go. Uh, uh, um, uh, spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. Back then, we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless. Sometimes brilliant. Sometimes just stupid. But always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. I'm totally not picking yellow because I'm Asian. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, I'll be playing too, yeah. This time, this. Oh, it. we can move it. Uh -huh. yeah. Stolen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stealing the one that I want. That's definitely a steal. Okay, cool. <clears throat> What? No, wrong one. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, I was gonna say, like, don't make me be here! Wait, so he types your name? Yeah, because um, we're playing on his computer. Right. Oh, Cinny, huh? Cinny. <laughs> <laughs> just a little a different, just a little different, you know? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah. And we've already read this, so I don't want to read it again. I'll just edit okay, the part in. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'll do it. <clears throat> And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. Oh yeah, I have to do it. I remember it clearly. Two weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Miranda Vanderbilt, 19. A sweet mermaid princess who is as cute as she was genocidal. Damien LeVay, 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Scott Howell, 21, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Liam DeLioncourt, 400 who knows, a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Polly Geis, 22, possibly. A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. And Vera Oberlin, 23, a mean, self-made Gorgon with a merc merciless sense of business. It was clear it had to be one of them, but who? We only had two weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had two weeks to woo them and conquer their hearts. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, we are ready to start. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome to Monster Prom, stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they're what rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more. We're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Monster Prom, stupidest pop quiz ever. Trademarked. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start! The coolest reality show should be... Eight rich people fight in a weekly challenges to see who the best who is the best at giving money to you. Hell yeah! Wait, what? <laughs> Wait... <laughs> <laughs> Wait... <laughs> Wait, I I'm not even going to read the other ones? <laughs> you, you guys can read the rest. Oh, uh, hell yeah. <clears throat> uh, Twelve experts on the various arts of seduction live in a house where they must face a common challenge. Seducing a potato into marriage. Wait. Somehow. <laughs> I'm just going to pick that <laughs> the one. potato oh, yeah. season. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people in positions of power must face all sorts of questions relevant to their field. If they fail, they will lose their jobs, and society wins. <laughs> hmm. I like love potato. Uh, <laughs> I don't. 
<laughs> if you had to have sex with an animal, <laughs> which would it be? I can feel the feds ready to knock on my door. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can hear them. Feds? <laughs> FBI, open up. A I'll dolphin, up. My no one can make face. me fuck an animal, or a purebred no, horse. I'm not doing anything. Huh. <clears throat> I, I feel like this is a FBI honeypot. Hell yeah. I don't feel safe. A purebred horse, at least I can keep a semen and sell it. I already have fucked an animal, so the joke's <laughs> on you, pal. Jesus Christ. Huh. Well, Alan, how many FBI agents are going to your door? That is a very good question. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Same. That was really <laughs> funny. Hmm. I like both of these ones. I mean, hey. Dolphins will rape you anyway, so why not? <laughs> <laughs> Free will. So bold. Um. <laughs> if, you, if you were an ice cream, which flavor would you be? I really like spicy chocolate. No, chocolate on <laughs> fire. Oh, yeah. Hmm. And tequila and coke. <laughs> Let's go with that. Hell yeah. Mm. Wow, well, rare and Gruyere is a cheese. It's a kind of sweeter, creamier cheese. And meringue, you should know what meringue is. What's meringue? It's whipped egg whites. Yeah. Very yummy. Was I supposed to know that? Yes. Very macarons. Oh. Uh, I'll go. No, I'm telling you going to choose this one. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Well, you want me to pick this one. However, if I'm thinking right, the guy I want might like this. Oh, choice. you're trying to optimize it. Oh, smart. <laughs> <laughs> Anything for success, am I right? To get the man I desire. Which is apparently Damien. <laughs> yes, Queen! Damien! Oh. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> it doesn't help you put it right by me, and I'm too loud. Well, it's right in front of both of us, but I figure, you know, volume is... A... We we need her chaotic energy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, how, how does this work? Good luck. Thanks, man. Um... And now it tells you which place raises, raises which stats. You want to increase your stats. So you go to the place that will... Ah, I see, I see. Um... Money, buy, money can buy anyone. Let's go with... That play, that day you spent some time in the library's PCs playing some good old online poker. It's even legal. Sure. <laughs> I mean, this world, yeah. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision. But who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. You gain plus two money. Nice. Your username is Black Gold. Liam and Damien sending over a pile of books. Liam has gathered their scowling intently, so as if the books have personal has personally wronged them. Our school teachers, the most common mainstream basic material imaginable. I think there's only one thing we can really do. Petition the school to include works of value. Burn the box. <laughs> Damien, you're absolutely right. The fight against the anti-intellectualism must be uh, tele telegraphed in a strong action, not just empty words. Too many big words for him. <laughs> Damien snaps his fingers and the books burst into flames. You have to admit, between a petition and fire, fire is a much cooler option. Unfortunately, it is at this exact moment that the crazy Martin choos chooses to appear. Oh no, 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 not again. He always thinks these things are my fault, just because they are. I can't get detention, I'm seeing a, a nondescript yogurt resort concert this weekend. And the band only plays once in a blue moon when the lunar eclipse lines up with... There's no time to let Liam finish. Quick, step in and be the hero they need. <laughs> Burn down the entire life. <laughs> There's a three-horned paper <laughs> on the loose. 
that was planning to devour the entire collection. You're like, ah, yes. Get it! Damn. No. Oh no. Dumb. <laughs> you start to enumerate the dangers of the three horn paper gob, but somehow spirals into a horrifying tale on how you lost your virginity <laughs> at Monster Camp. Oh my gosh. This is a sordid tale involving Sandria, ill fitting lingerie, and being walked in by a counselor who critiqued your clumsy sexual technique. Liam's eyes are getting wider and wider. Damien. Damien looks like he's getting sick. You're just getting to the part where with the peanut butter. Oh god. And <laughs> crazy Martin flips out and clocks you with his massive paw. I never thought Damn. I'd say this, but thank god for crazy Martin. Even fucking detention would be better than hearing the end of that story. Those words are a, a thousand nondescript yogurt resort concerts won't wash them from my eye from my ears. I'm gonna fucking puke. I'm gonna fucking puke napalm. <laughs> wow, you need to work on not oversharing, or at least come up with with a much cooler story about your first sexual experience. You lose two fun and one charm, and your classmates now know way too much about you. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. Uh, what happened? Yeah, man. That day during recess. You start a half-hour raid that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might destroy the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. You gain plus two fun. <clears throat> In the course of your activities, you come across Vera and Polly, hatching yet another scheme. Sneak a little closer so you can eavesdrop. Listen, this has to be a fruitful partnership so far, in terms of making people look like imbeciles. But I think it's time we monetize. Sick burns don't buy fresh outfits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine, whatever. I get. I guess I could use some new thongs or whatever, but like... I want to stop making people look dumb so we can make money. I want to sell out. Personally... I can't wait to sell out. We have a point. We can't sacrifice our brand. The question, of course, is how do we do both? <laughs> yeah. How do we get rich off yanking people's chains? Oh, careful with your choice of words, Polly. What? Chains are a big thing for Gus. Of course. They don't seem to have any immediate ideas. Maybe you can offer a solution. Uh... <clears throat> Which one? Ah, uh, yes. Do the I great feel prank like stealing. Hell yeah. Uh, why don't you make up a phony workout craze? Work for Frank Pilates, the inventor of Pilates. Oh, so I, well, okay, I don't feel as bad for myself anymore. Craze. I'll find that right between leg warmers and pages. Under things that were a great idea in the 1980s. Sorry, not sorry. But... Fuck, that's a, not Division. a word. Derision Inc. isn't it's dedicated to exploring e. only the most innovative fields of humiliation. Yeah, nobody falls for that fake workup stuff anymore. Because, like, everyone already knows the one foolproof way to get tight thighs and a delicious ass. Brimping. You've heard of brimping, right? You've never heard of brimping. Time to make a swift exit before you look like even more of an idiot. You lose two fun and one creativity. So I God have dang it. net negative one. I I felt it, dude. Let's see what increases what. Okay, let's. See. Okay, how about? What's so funny? And she's like staring me down when I want to. Shoot, when I want to. Don't go to the bowling. place I want you to go to. Pick hey, the place she wants to listen, go to. Be a independent whatever you are. Creativity. Zombie. <laughs> it's a power move if you pick what she wanted. <laughs> She's metagaming here, so fuck her up. Okay. That day you skip class just to hang out 
in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms, you give plus zero shits, but you gain plus two boldness. You suddenly see Polly vomit ectoplasm all over her cell phone. You rush to help her. Uh, I just got my 97th hay as an opening line on Tinder. I just had to puke out all the pure boredom. Hey? Hey? What am I supposed to do with hey? Whatever happened to reaching out to someone with a fierce dick pic? <laughs> people just... People are just copy and pasting hey and sending it to every monster that looks halfway interesting. What about you? Are you a hey person too? I hope not. If you read the Tinder profile of fun-loving spectral delight as such as myself, what would you say to me? You're beautiful. Are you on drugs? Because I want to do you all night long. So do I say something that she would like, or? Ideally, I think you gotta swoon her. Aww. Hell yeah, uh, drugs. Okay. Hell yeah, drugs. That's a great opening line. Also, let's do drugs. You wake up a little while later, feeling like shit with no idea where you are. It would appear you that you are somehow the president of a small country in the midst of a financial crisis, mostly because <laughs> you diverted 100% of your finances to procuring more drugs. <laughs> Luckily, this particular country only rises from the mist once every 100 years, so you're able to make a hasty exit with almost no consequences. However, Polly catches up to you at school, she was less than impressed. Wow. So when you said you wanted to do me all night long, like drugs, what you meant was be totally unable to handle me, piss your pants, and black out? Because I don't know about you. Uh, I don't know about you, but that is not the kind of date I go to Tinder looking for. I always heard Worf can't handle his drugs. Stupid me of giving you the benefit of the doubt. Yay. Well, to be fair, I'm how do drugs, you know what I'm saying? Man, now Polly thinks you're totally lame and wouldn't be able to handle doing her. Why don't you have a higher drug tolerance? Didn't anyone tell you to do drugs and doing drugs is cool? Now that you now you lost one boldness and two fun. I'm trying to get fun. 